What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes coming to Empower in Update 35 with a few tweaks to your build and this change as long as it stands throughout the uh, you know the public test server. When Update 35 releases, heavy attack builds may be viable yet again in the Elder Scrolls Online. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel empire jerky also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well if you enjoy the video i'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and if you really enjoy the channel i would appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well now when it comes to empower in the past it did affect light attacks now with the changes they've made, the Empower buff will no longer affect light attacks at all, but will instead buff your heavy attack damage by 80%. It says to avoid one-shot builds in PvP, Zenimax took the unusual step of actually completely disabling Empower uh, in PvP. I'm not sure why they have not done this with other things in the past. I know a lot of Things get nerfed or buffed and people get upset either on the PvE side or the PvP side. And I'm not really sure why they finally decided to disable something in PvP and leave it alone in PvE. I kind of wish they would do that going forward. But that's kind of beside the point. Uh, that Empower buff will completely be disabled in PvP. Uh, like I said, in PvE, those heavy attacks will actually get a massive increase of 80%. Once again, the light attacks will no longer be affected by the Empower buff, but with this change, that 80% attack damage on those heavy attacks, heavy attack builds may be something that are actually viable and usable again in the Elder Scrolls Online. That was something that was kind of a thing for a little while. It's been off and on where you could use heavy attack builds. There's just been a handful of times where they actually have been really good. Uh, other times it would have been... Uh, you know you're doing or dealing a lot less damage than you would with a light attack build but with a heavy attack build uh this could be something you know that could be kind of maybe back in the meta in in some form or fashion like i said we'll kind of have to wait and see how this plays out if this stands within the public test server and actually goes to the live server when update 35 is released but this is something i think that a lot of people will be happy to see and when Zoss talks about, in my opinion, talking about making the game easier for newer players, having the ability to have a heavy attack build while you learn or while you're learning that light attack weaving, I think is a good thing. So the option to have the ability to run a heavy attack build, I think will be a, a thing that's going to please a lot of newer players and also some veteran players as well. Um, some veteran players are not a fan of light attack weaving. Some of them, you know, just don't like it. You know can't get the hang of it whatever the case is um so this is going to give more build options and i think that's always a good thing when it comes to eso leave me a comment let me know what you think about this empowered change would you like to see even more changes to you know heavy attacks to make more of a, a or make heavy attacks more of a viable thing in the game permanently uh, do you think there should be you know things for light and heavy attack builds i do honestly i, I think there should be an option to play either way and also let me know what you think about Zoss actually making some changes uh, just for PVE and, you know, not doing anything to it to harm, uh, you know, eventually or down the road, you know, harm it from what's going to happen on the PVP side. By disabling this in PVP, this kind of opens up something, in my opinion, that Zoss should look at doing going forward. They should always be looking at, you know, PVE and PVP and say, you know, is this going to be too strong in one side or on one side or the other? And maybe we should just disable it in one or the other. So leave me a comment what you think about that as well. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.